I wasn't single at the time. At the time, it was just to get to know her as a friend. And I couldn't respect that boundary of you being in a relationship. Mm -hmm. I just kept pushing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah, I wasn't going to stop until I had you. So I guess that's just how that all played out. <laughs> Um, we first met, we worked at the same store, Urban Outfitters. She was very um, standoffish at the beginning. She had her own friends. I didn't really have friends yet. And it literally started from you coming up to me, I think, asking me like, oh, like, wh where are you from? Because I, yeah, I was the new girl in the store. I wasn't single at the time. At the time, it was just to get to know her as a friend. We went but out to eat a couple times. We went out to eat a few times. Um, it was like a lot, I think. We were hanging out a lot. Like, yeah, we just kept seeing each other all the time. Yeah, and then we knew that there was like, the chemistry and attraction and then we started dating from there but we had it was friends of, uh, yeah a lot of ups and downs because <laughs> yeah, it was like i said i wasn't single at the beginning so we were trying to figure out what it was going to be or if i should be doing that march will be our two-year anniversary if we're being honest like what lesbian years are completely oh, different than yeah well it feels like we're married like but... i feel like i've been dating her for like five years already yeah for covid with each other every day and we're, we sleep with each other every day we have different apartments but with each other every day <laughs> so yeah, yeah it's, it's marriage status but i've only dated females so i've only ever felt like my relationships have been long this one's a long one though Ooh. okay relax <laughs> <laughs> we were literally like doing nothing some days and it was like we've never done that and since oh, we dated we've always had jobs we've always had work we've always had two three jobs it's like we didn't have that pause but i think the pause was good mm -hmm. um there's always bittersweet to a pandemic there's people dying it's a real thing um but then also on top of that you have police brutality which is amazing to see like protests and things like that especially in new york people are still protesting every day there's a protest every day the misconception is like as being a black person it's like i should already know all this stuff and whatever whatever but obviously the education system fails all of us so definitely throughout this whole thing has definitely been something where i'm like okay you need to like sit down and actually educate yourself on like everything that's happened surrounding our people and surrounding like this country i just hope there's more like conversation around like oh this wasn't working like what can we do now yeah i like that people are scared now because like the sense of like being quote unquote canceled or whatever mm -hmm. just this idea that it's like whatever you think in your head i don't want to hear about it but the fact that you're afraid now to like say certain things like like racial things and stuff like that i'm glad because i don't want to hear it I'm very hopeful for the future because I feel like through this pandemic and through quarantine and all that, I've realized what truly matters to me. You just got to live your life because nothing's going to change. You can don't be ignorant. Still do what you got to do. Still help out in the world. Still be a change maker. But it's like it's not going to change over time. Um, overnight. Overnight. <laughs> over time. Over forever. Like, but for myself, um, yeah, I think I see growth in myself even over this year. So I definitely am hopeful and excited to see what my future holds. The idea that when New York gets tough, it's like, I'm out, you know what I mean? It's like, I feel like the real New Yorkers have been here or are continuing to be here. It's yeah. like- I know a lot of people who are literally ready to run away from New York because it's like, the restaurants were open, museums, yeah. like no, New York is not dead. It's never gonna be dead. Yeah. And I'm glad there's less people in this damn city because people who are leaving literally leave. Like, yeah. So yeah, yeah, no, I'm very hopeful for New York because New York will always be New York. There's people yeah. who travel from all over the world <laughs> to move here and they've never even visited. So I have no doubt in my mind that New York is going to yeah. bounce back from wherever it went. You know what I mean? I think New York's a city that can't be dead, though. Yeah, you, you, it can't be because oh, the, peop yeah. the people are so lively. How can the city be dead? Mic drop. Mic drop. <laughs>